Hello everybody, welcome back and thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so I'm back in the studio. I'm gonna show you guys uh, a few pieces that I did and that are resined and finished from the blooms. Um, but before I do that, there's a few things I wanna say. First thing is um, I'm super excited to announce that I am going to be venturing off into a new endeavor. Um, there's some exciting news coming. Um, you'll find out what that news is within the next week, week and a half. Um, and I'm going to tell you guys what that is coming soon. Um, if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you will probably soon see some little mini videos and stuff like that of what's coming. Uh, I'm super excited. I am, I can't wait to start this whole new venture. Um, my father, he's the best. He's coming up and to my place and he is uh, helping me build new tables and new shelving um, in the garage. Um, so there's something big happening, something big. And I really think that you guys are going to be super happy. You're going to enjoy it and it's going to be a good thing. And I just can't wait to, I'll still be doing acrylic pouring and the blowouts and all that. I'm still doing all that. That's not going away, but I'm adding something different into the mix of things that I am going to be doing. Um, it is going to be an in, like extremely huge learning curve for me. And I'm just so excited and I can't wait to share it with you guys, but you're going to have to wait about a week, maybe less. It depends. We shall see, but just stay tuned. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so excited um, for what's coming. Uh, I can't wait to show you guys what I'm going to be diving into. So just stay tuned. Um, all right. And the next thing I want to mention, of course, for those of you who might be new watching, um, I am doing a workshop in Asheville, uh, North Carolina. Um, I will be heading there May 23rd to the 25th for the Fluid Art Experience. I will be there with a bunch of other YouTube artists. Um, there will be Sarah Taylor, uh, Tara from Pieces of, uh, Pieces of Tara Artistry, uh, Kathleen from Cause Creations, Jessica Winterstrom, uh, Nate Bright, uh, Britta Clayton, uh, the Massey Boys. Uh, I hope I didn't forget anybody. But yeah, there's a bunch of us going. We're going to be teaching classes. It's a three-day event. If you want to come and learn with me, you want to learn how to do a blowout. I'm also teaching a resin class, a resin top coating class. Well, you will get to top coat a 10 by 10 inch canvas that has a blowout on it made none other than by myself and you will get to take that home. So not only are you going to learn how to use resin and top coat a canvas, but you will also get to take a Canela uh, Soraco art piece original home with you. So um, there's lots of classes. I am teaching six different classes. So if you want information on the Asheville, North Carolina event, you can go to www.fluidart experience.com and you can check out the registration sign up take my classes uh, I cannot wait it is coming up in like what just about two months from now so book those seats and then if you can't come to Asheville I will be in Fort Myers Florida uh, July 13th and 14th and I will be there doing a two-day workshop event with Kathleen from Cause Creations so if you want to come and take our classes, we will be teaching classes together. Um, there are four classes. You can pick one, two, three, all four, whatever you want. That is happening in Fort Myers, Florida, July 13th and 14th. And if you want information on that event, you can email us at fluidartwithfriendsflorida at gmail.com. All right, so let me show you guys some resined bloom pieces. So this piece I had showed you guys before. Look at, I tell you guys, a top coat of crystal resin just makes these things pop. Look at that. So as I mentioned in a previous video, 
Um, this piece has sold. It, now that it's resined and done, it is going to be shipped off to its new home in the US. And then this is the last piece I did, which you didn't get to see resined. But look at that. This is so cool. It's like a deep blue abyss. Isn't that crazy? Look at that. Look at flawless, flawless. I love it. Look at that shimmer on there. It is insane. So this is a 14 by 14 inch bloom and it is available for purchase. If anyone is interested, you can email me. And then I want to show you some of the coasters that you saw in the last video and then you kind of saw me pour a little resin on them. But I wanted to show you guys the finished like dry resin results. I know don't mind the ring light reflection but I just kind of wanted to show you guys some of the pieces. Like this is like my favorite. It's just blue, just blue. And for some reason, I, I love it so, so much. And then there's this one. Again, if you saw my last video, oh, there we go. That kind of looks better. But look at, isn't that neat? So all these coasters are in the last video. And then it, I also, talk in or not talk but I also um in the video tell you guys the colors I use the order it was done in but these coasters I'll show you two more these coasters turned out amazing um super cool look at that I love these and one more all right look at that aren't these amazing I'm really having fun with the blooms. Um, so I'm gonna keep doing them for a little bit. Um, look at that. Ah. Now, if you see a coaster that you like and you want a set of four of them, you can email me and let me know and I will make you a set of coasters. Coasters are available for purchase. So if you want anything, you can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. All right. So that is it. Uh, my exciting news. Like I said, stay tuned. Ah, I'm so excited. Um, and that's it. So I'm going to clean all this stuff off the table. I'm going to bring you guys down and let's do another pretty bloom today. I'll be right back. All right, everybody. I'm ready to go. So what I have here is a 14 by 14 inch canvas. I am going to try bigger canvases soon, but I still just want to play around with these somewhat smaller canvases. Uh, 14 by 14 inch, I am using uh, Erica Hughes Spinner, uh, Erica Hughes Art. However, I do have one coming on the way um, from Jessica from Winterstrom Art. She um, has been kind enough to send me one of her spinners and I will be trying one of those out uh, in an upcoming video as soon as I get it. It's en route. So I will try that when I get it <clears throat> and I'll let you guys know. All right, so my colors today are, uh, let's see. So this one, I got them all yesterday. I went to Sherwin-Williams. Uh, they are having a big sale on the paint, the base paint. Uh, it's called Color To Go, Color To Go. Um, and it's 35% off. So in Canada, they are regular $14.99 uh, with 30, 35% off. So minus the 35 plus tax, you're looking at just about 10 bucks for a jug. Uh, in the U S I think it's cheaper. I think it's 10 something. And then with the discount, it ends up being six something. So lucky you guys, uh, this co color is called wishful blue. Although if you ask me, it kind of looks like a lilac purple. I don't know. Looks lilac y purple to me, but I like it. I've been doing really dark bases lately, so I thought I would try a light base. So I went to Sherwin Williams yesterday uh, and I bought like 10, 10 tubs of different colors black, white, uh, some other light colors, you know, kind of thing. So that is the base. Um, and before I forget, if you want to know how the bloom technique works, the products you need, the materials, ratios, all of that, video 504, I will link it up at the top. Video 504 is a full tutorial on the bloom technique uh, on how I do it, okay? 
Um, other people do it differently. Other people have different ratios. Other people just do different things. This is my way. Um, and if you want, you can take the full out course by Shelly Art herself, um, which gives you a ridiculous amount of knowledge and videos and videos and videos. And you get accepted into a private Facebook group that is only for members. And that is the most ridiculously helpful group I've ever actually been in. Um, so yeah, if you wanna take the course, the information is in the description below the video and you can get a discount. I believe it's 15% off the course. I, I gotta say it's worth it. So, you know, if my video alone isn't good enough, uh, take the Shelly Art course, okay? So the colors I'm using are uh, Enchantment um, by TLP, this little pigment, Enchantment. Then we have Athena. This is also TLP. And if you wanna know where to get your TLP piggies, you can go to the Fluid Arco website. Again, information in the description below fluid-art.co that is the website this is permanent blue violet by amsterdam then we have ore or or by tlp then we have nightfall nightfall by tlp and topping it off this super pretty color called Venus, again, by TLP. All right, so there you have it, this little piggies. So that's what I'm doing. And then my cell activator, I couldn't decide whether I should do a white cell activator or a dark cell activator. So I actually practiced these colors on two coasters and they both look pretty, but again, I'm gonna try and keep this piece light and airy so I'm gonna go with the white cell activator and that is Titanium White by Amsterdam mixed with Australian Floetrol, okay? So again, you wanna know all about this stuff, check out video 504, all right? So I'm going to pour my base here. Now this is pretty thick. When I did my playing around with Lisa Marvin at her place and we did a big bloom, a two foot by two foot bloom, uh, she actually thinned down her, um, this base with some Floetrol. Uh, and I was gonna do that, but I don't know. I'm kind of scared to do it in terms of like, I'm hoping it doesn't mess with my like bloom. What is that? Get out of my paint. So I just used, oh gosh, I just used half of that. <laughs> I did. I used half of that. So, you know, it can be expensive, but it is an expensive technique, but so much fun. All right. Uh, do I see any bubbles? I do. I'm going to pop them super quick. Just a few little bubbles. Okay. I'm going to just, there we go. I just wanna kinda, just kinda wanna, wanna kinda, you know, kinda wanna. All right, let's get started. Um, enchantment. I'm just gonna drizzle all here in the center, like so. Like, oops, almost dropped that, goodness. Then we've got Athena. Drizzle, drizzle. You guys and gals, I cannot wait for you guys to hear my news. Um, how about you take a guess, actually? This was Anthony's idea. He's like, get your, your viewers to guess and you know, see if they can guess what your new endeavor is. So that was a great idea. So why don't you guys take a guess at what you think I'm gonna start diving into? Um, what am I gonna do? I can't wait to show you guys. Um, like I said, um, UPS is bringing my new endeavor. 
uh, next, oh shoot, that was a lot, next week, ah shoot, and then my dad um, is coming up to my house, uh, and he's building me a new work table, and a bench, and like some shelves, because I'm gonna be working in the garage, because um, you know, there's just no space here in this studio, so I got to, uh, I'm going to be rearranging the whole garage uh, next week. Uh, Anthony, what a sweetheart. He's going to come on his day off and help me um, rearrange the whole garage in preparation for this new endeavor of mine. I cannot wait. Um, but yeah, I can't wait for you guys to see what I'm going to be up to. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. So I'm going to just a little bit do this before I put the cell activator down. Like last time I totally forgot to do that. And I'm actually gonna coat my sides because I didn't do that last time and I feel like, um, you know, it didn't run down the side nicely. And you know how much I tell you guys about covering your sides and making sure they're wet when I'm doing a blowout. So this is kind of the same thing. You know, get those sides wet. And this one I'm rubbing because the paint is so thick. There's no dabbing here like I do with my blowouts. Okay, so that works out well. All right. I'm so nervous. I'm always nervous doing these. I don't know why, but I am. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, cell activator. I've got this ready to go. Okay, let's do it. And I don't know how much cell activator put to put, but I just load it up. Okay, so that's been blown out. I'm gonna give it some time to do what it needs to do in the center. I'm loving the colors. You could always get yourself a straw and just kind of blow down and see if you get a few more cells. So I just did that and cells are, for, you can see the little cells that came up. I just blow right down. That's about all I use a straw for. It's pretty, oh my gosh. Oh, I've got the light from my studio light over here and it is so pretty. So I'm going to just torch this real quick. That way when it's spreading out, there's less boobles. Bubble, pop Mr. Bubble. Is that a bubble or a goober? All right, so I think that's ready for a spin. Yeah, I like it. So let's spin it. In my last video, um, a lot of you said, oh, put your fingers in it, you know, do some fun pedals or whatever. And I was like, yeah, I know, maybe I should. Maybe I'll do it in this one. I don't know. <laughs> I still don't know if I want to do that or not. All I know is that this base color is amazing. 
I love this. I don't know why they call it wishful blue because it's like really lilac-y to me. Um, and it's so pretty. And I just, I'm trying to get this to move down this way, like so. Because I'm not sure I want to spin it much more than this. I kind of want to leave negative space. But again, do I stick my fingers in it? <gasps> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. One more spin, I think. And then let me go the other way. Okay, so it's coming real close to the edge here. Um, so I'm going to stop spinning. The only thing I'm not happy about is like over here, you can see, can you see like it didn't flow over, but I'm hoping it just dries nicely like that. I'm hoping it just dries like that. And like smooth, I mean, like flattens itself out and dries because I'm just not really sure about you know, how lumpy this is over here. Maybe I shouldn't be playing with it though either. I don't know. How are my sides looking? Sides are looking great. I'm so, actually I'm really loving that this didn't um, go over the edge. So I think I am gonna play with it. Yes, I'm gonna play with it with my fingers. Man, this dabbing doesn't really work good. Well, that looks crappy. Dabbing is no good. That's better. Guess you gotta really put a lot on there. This side's perfect. This side's perfect. This side, not so much. There is a lot of waste, unfortunately. Like, I mean, I could scrape this up and use it. I could, I should, you know, but then you get the shoulda, coulda, woulda, right? Okay, so my sides are good. I'm really happy with my sides. So the question now is, do I stick my fingers in that? And I'm really scared to do it. Like I, I really am, I'm petrified. Because I love it the way it is. And I'm so scared that if I stick my finger in it, I'm gonna ruin it. And then I'm gonna be so mad because I used half a bottle, half a can of this. Um, and I really don't wanna uh, mess that up. So this is really freaking me out. Um, I'm thinking, I really am thinking, um, where would I stick my finger? Like in here, I'm so freaking out. I, you know what? I can't. I'm not doing it. I can't do it. It's just too pretty and I'm not about to screw it up. Um, I wonder though if I do some squiggly lines with um, a skewer. Let me grab one. So what if I take a skewer because I'm not really liking this. Maybe I could bring some of the purple into the white here like this. You know?
that kind of looks nice. I know a lot of you are probably screaming at me. Just stick your finger in it. I just, I really don't want to do that. I really don't. I just, if this was a blowout, you know, I would stick my finger in it. Cause you know, if I, if I mucked it up, then, you know, I'd scrape it and start again because the materials aren't as expensive um, as this. So I, I just, I'm really not keen on screwing around with this. I'm really not. I'm just, I really don't want to ruin it. And then I'm going to be so upset with myself. But hey, um, you know, if you're at home and you're doing this, feel free to stick your own fingers in your own painting. <laughs> so don't come at me in the comments, please. Um, but boy, this little squiggly stuff is actually quite nice. I'm liking that. I do like this. That definitely adds a little oomph to this, actually. I do like that. That's pretty. Gosh, I feel like I want to spin it one more time. But like, bring it down more this way. And I swear I might regret this. I really might. I don't know, but I'm gonna do it anyway, cause I'm just a sucker. Yeah. So I have the brunt of it this way. Now I'm wondering, because I still see a little lumpiness over there. So I'm going to, and if you remember in my last video, you know, I had an awesome tip from a viewer where if you off center the piece, you can get it to go that way. I hope this doesn't go flying off the, off the spinner. See, that was better. Okay. Oh yeah, I could see on this side, it's all coming down the edge. And now I've gone over the edge here, which kind of sucks, but it is just white, so I'm okay with that. I think that's so much better. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm done messing with it. So I'm gonna bring it back into the center. I'm just gonna slide it over like so. I'm hoping the sides dry smoothly. It's hard to tell with this um, really, really, really thick paint. But, okay, I'm done. I'm finished. It's so pretty. I'm going to um, take my gloves off and I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close-up. Be right back. All right, everybody. So I'm gonna do a close-up, kind of like I normally do. So one with the studio lights on. I'm gonna go from this angle though. That way you can kind of get the light from the studio lights. And then I'm gonna turn it off and do one with just the flash. But I'm really happy I went with the white cell activator. I just think if I had done the dark one, the black or Payne's gray that I use, it would have been too dark. But you can't really see the shimmer with this. So let me uh, turn all the light lights off and turn the flash on. All right, so I've got the flash on and it just, wow, wow, wow. Oh my goodness, this is insane. 
Look at this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see, you got to put it in the right light if you want to see the prettiness. Oh my goodness. This is insane. I love it. This is stunning. Stunning. Oh, look at that. Gosh, I love this TLP piggies. Just amazing. I could look at this shimmer all day long. When this thing dries and gets a top coat of crystal resin, wow. Well, you already saw what it looks like with resin. That is amazing. Look at that center. Oh my goodness. Wow. Well, there you have it, everybody. Um, I would love to know what you think about this in the comments below. Um, do you want to see more blooms still? Um, like I said, I bought all these new different base colors, so I want to try different color combinations. Uh, you know, what colors do you want to see? I just did some purples. I did blues last time. Like, what do you want to see? Um, also, you know, it is available for purchase, 14 by 14 inch canvas. If you are interested in this, you can email me at canelastoracco at gmail.com. I want to show you guys what the coaster with the um, dark cell activator looked like. So here it is here. So this is the same colors, but instead I used a Payne's gray cell activator. So I gotta say it's pretty darn pretty. And do that and show you guys what it looks like in the light. And then this is my trial with the white cell activator. So, like, I mean, both of them, both of them looked really neat. The black one has a lot more definition, but it does darken it up quite a bit. You know, it does darken up the piece. So when you look at that, and then you look at that, you know, it's a much lighter, airy piece. So tell me what you think, actually. Do you like the black cell activator? Or I keep saying black, but it's Payne's Gray. Payne's Gray cell activator, or do you like the white cell activator? And then, yeah, that's it. And like I said, if you're interested in purchasing it, email me. Um, that is it. So again, don't forget, um, Asheville, North Carolina, and Fort Myers, Florida. If you're interested in any of that information, uh, go into the description below my video and you'll get all the information. Shelly Art Course, if you want to take the course and save 15% off, there's a link and a discount. Um, you know, take a guess at what you think my new endeavor is going to be, what I'm going to be diving into and, you know, learning new things. What do you think I'm doing? Let me know in the comments below. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with, but I can't wait to share the big news and show you guys the big news soon. So until next time, my friends, uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.